With the sound of the horn, the Fort Francis Lakers are now the 2015 SIJHL champions, defeating the Dryden GM Ice Dogs in six games to win their second straight championship title. I can't say enough and praise our team enough um, for what they went through and and how they rebounded after uh, being down two to one to um, come back and win three straight. Uh, um, Ice Dogs are a very good hockey team, very good coached hockey team, and and it took everything we had to uh, uh, muster up the victory. It was really a tremendous year, very competitive, uh, you know, all season long. The parity in the league was great. Uh, we had a really greatly contested final. Uh, six games, very hot and fought. All the games were close. Uh, you know, any team could have really won this series, but Fort Francis obviously, you know, finished first and uh, overall in the regular season and deserving champions. I can't even put it into words, you know, it's, uh, it's something that, you know, the first time I've experienced it in my life and uh, it's just, you, you can't even describe it, it's, it's an amazing feeling. Woo! Champs are here, baby. Uh, it's hard to explain, you know, the boys battled hard, it, you can't put it into words, it feels pretty good, but next, next thing's a Dudley and we're, fo we're gonna, we're gonna focus on that next after we, a couple days here. As the host league for this year's Central Canada Junior Championship, the Dudley Hewitt Cup, the Lakers and Dryden GM Ice Dogs now look ahead to Fort Francis, where they'll face the other Ontario champions for the right to represent the province at this year's Royal Bank Cup later this spring. The Lakers will host the Dudley Hewitt Cup this year in Fort Francis, uh, April 28th to May 2nd. Uh, there's four teams there. It'll be the Lakers, the Dryden GM Ice Dogs, and the representatives from both the Ontario Junior Hockey League and the Northern Ontario Junior Hockey League. Uh, there's tickets available. We'd love to have people come down and check out some great junior hockey as these uh, four teams compete for the Central Canada title for Ontario and a right to go on to the RBC Cup National Championship in Portage La Prairie in May. The pace of these games made both teams better. And I just talked to... Uh, Coach Strachan and he said the same thing like you know they're going to be prepared and we're going to be prepared and so whoever comes after us or whoever we get better be ready for a fast paced game. Leading up into the final series uh, I don't think either team could expect anything else and and it was good that the, the compete level was as high as it was because it's going to get even higher um, once Tuesday comes for both teams and and seeing the champions from the other two leagues. To find out more about tickets, times, and dates for this year's Dudley Hewitt Cup, check out the SIJHL's website at SIJHLHockey.com. Hockey is a lifeblood uh, in these uh, parts of the country, and uh, we're really happy that uh, the fans are taking, uh, you know, uh, really taking to the league, and uh, it just seems to be getting better and better on ice product every year. And, uh, you know, we just want to provide quality entertainment for the fans and uh, get the young people out here and involved. And a lot of these young hockey players can maybe aspire one day to, to play in the SIJHL right in their hometown. In Dryden, I'm Tommy Johnson.